everybody, welcome to the 40k Battle Report. I'm back with Travis, and he's here with his Vestroyans. Um, it's Saturday, the launch day of the new Astra Militarum Codex today, and he is rocking so much Vestroyan armor. It's just silly. It's just crazy. Uh, for all the six inch, for 30 inch Punisher cannons, just makes me sad. 30 inch, you got 42 inch Executioner cannons. You got all the good stuff. Um, so you got some tanks. I'll uh, be playing with my Imperial Knights, backed up by the Blood Ravens. We're gonna call this a Blood Raven army. But it's also a knight army. We'll show you. It's a battalion plus super heavy detachment. Um, and then, yeah, and then so we've got that. Uh, we're gonna be playing a Maelstrom of War mission, so we're open Maelstrom mission. We'll show you the armies, we'll show you the table, and we'll get started. This Travis is Vestroyans. It's a big spearhead and a super heavy auxiliary. So the spearhead is going to be commander. Yep, so we have the tank commander uh, in a plasma executioner tank. Uh, then we have the primary psyker as a secondary HQ. Uh, he is with his friends, which are some little ratlings. Uh, and in the new codex, neither of these guys uh, count against the Vestroyan tag in a detachment. Correct. So you're, you're fine to have these guys, the, the military and all the auxiliaries. They don't remove the, the, the whole detachment being Vestroyans basically by being included. Yep. So same with like Ogrens, Engine Seers, those guys just count as neutral basically for determining your regimental keyword. Yeah, they're and considered then, auxilia. That's right. And all these guys are regiments, so they're all Vestroyans. And what do we got on top of the, uh, the HQ and the Elites? So for fast, I have uh, two Hellhounds. Uh, one is a heavy bolter, one is a heavy flamer. And they're now 2d6 uh, shots, but damage one, as opposed to being 1d6 and damage two. Yep. Uh, then I have one squadron of Lehman Rust tanks with a demolisher, and then the uh, Punisher with three heavy bolters. Um, and then I have two other uh, separate Lehman Rust squads. One of them is two battle cannons, and then one is two vanquishers. Each vanquisher has a last cannon on the front. Nice. Uh, lastly is the uh, the knight. Uh, I think so that's a paladin. Yep. Yeah, paladin is the iron storm missile launcher. It looks like a rapid fire battle cannon. Yep. Um, and reaper a chain reaper chain sword, and that's it. So there it is. Two thousand points, two detachments of Astro Militarum with a knight. Here's my Blood Ravens. We have a battalion detachment led by a librarian, and he's got the psychic excursion smite powers. Um, then we also have a lieutenant, because you can take power lieutenants now, with a master crafted bolter. He's a classic old um, veteran mini, which just makes a perfect lieutenant if you're ever looking for a bolter lieutenant. Uh, we have a sniper squad of scouts with a heavy bolter, sergeant with a sniper rifle, four or three other sniper rifles, and camel cloaks. Uh, we have a tack squad with a sergeant with a chainsword and all bolters. And we have another scout squad with bolters and a sergeant with a chainsword. Um, then we have an auxiliary detachment for one, because um, I will keep this all being actual space marines, so they can use space marine stuff, and they become battle forward. Uh, and over here we have um, a Calexus Assassin hanging out by himself for minus one CP. So that's three, minus one to two, and then a super heavy detachment with Baroness. She's a Knight Errant with a, um, there's a Thermal Cannon, a Super, uh, what was it, a Reaper Chain Swords, and a uh, heavy stubber. We have the sword with a rapid fire battle cannon with a coaxial stubber, a melted gun, an adventure gallon cannon with heavy flamer, and an iron storm rocket pod. And then we have the red fang, who's a crusader. No, sorry, that's a crusader. This is a paladin um, with a uh, Icarus auto cannon, rapid fire battle cannon, reaper chain sword, twin heavy stubbers, and that's it. So there it is. Uh, eight total CPs uh, for my big giant robot party hanging out with the Battalion of Space Marines. Here's our ruinous table set up for Cloak of Shadows. Uh, Males for more, there's six objectives. One, two over there, three, four, five, and then six over here in that ruin. Um, and the special rules for Cloak of Shadows are it is nighttime, uh, so if you want to target a unit outside of 18 inches, you are minus one to hit. Everyone gets access to a stratagem called Flare. You can spend a CP to mark an enemy unit, uh, and you do not sucker close to Cloak of Shadows against it for the rest of the turn. So it's dark outside. We're fighting at night, uh, and we'll roll right now to... Actually, I, who placed the last one? I think I placed the last one, so I'll roll for deployment style. Spearhead Assault, which is the one 12 inches up the side and then up to 27 going to a point in the middle. Uh, and we will, because I rolled actually to determine, you place the first unit. I was picking this side and placing his command tank over here. It will be back over to me and we'll show you the rest of deployment when we're done. Alright, and we are deployed. We've got the Red Fang hanging out with the Tactical Squad with my Librarian. Uh, then we've got the Lieutenants. Up here in the building we have the Sniper Scouts. Baroness the sword and the bolter scouts, and then way up front, the Caluxus assassin. You're denying with some uh, Primaris Psyker, and then you've got in behind uh, the leader tank with the Punisher and the Demolisher. Rattling's up high. We've got a flame tank, flame tank, two Russes, and two Vanquishers, and then in the rear with the gear, the knight. 
finish dropping first, so he gets to get plus one to see who goes first. I got a two, so unless you roll a one, you're going first. Oh, no, you're going three, so that's you. That was relevance. And can I seize the initiative on a six? No. Want to reroll it? Probably yes, I do, because I feel like seizing the initiative in this case is going to be important. Let's reroll and try and do it on a six. Oh, and we seize. We're going to advance with my primary, or sorry, not primary lieutenant, regular lieutenant. He's going to run nine. Go hide behind these guys and just yell, yell threats at them to shoot good. I'm going to go with the red fang. He's going to walk this and four more. Whoop. And go head up top. Probably doing myself some tactical objectives. Those are important. They're actually secret, so Trav doesn't get to see them, but you guys do. And it's going to be these ones. Uh, so Red Fang's moved. Baroness is going to go and go four more. Go stand on top of this. Have the sword go, and he's going to go eight and then four more. And just be behind this ruin. Anyway, movement phase is over. Do I want to do a psychic phase? I guess I could. I'm going to start off by casting Psychic Fortress with my librarian. Uh, he's going to cast onto this unit of snipers. Uh, on a six, it does not go out. No, it does off on a five. Uh, are you within 24? You can try and deny. Uh, try and deny. Beat a six. Nope, nope. Doesn't go off. So they get a four plus. Uh, save against all mortal wounds. Psychic phase. Let's shoot some guns. Uh, let's start with, I guess, the Baroness. And she's going to try and shoot your Demolisher. Uh, she gets D3 shots from her thermal cannon. She gets one. I'm gonna spend a CP though and reroll it for the phase. What does she get now? She gets one. Great use of CPs, Ash. She is, however, within 18, so she'll be able to uh, hit on three as normal. And we hit. Uh, strength 10, so we're on a three. And we wound minus four, so you are in cover, so you'll get a six plus save at least. Yep. And nope. So because I'm within 18, I'm 2d6 picked the highest for wounds. I do three. Take a little chunk out of you. And then my heavy stubber just shoots for giggles and maybe does something. Hit on threes. We on sixes. Nope. Red Fang's gonna shoot everything into flamer tank number one. Good fire battle cannon. It's gonna get 11 shots. Hit on fours though, because that's at 18. Hit on fours. Do it. Yeah, I know. This, this nighttime is bad. And <laughs> we on threes. Strength eight. One at minus two. All right. Make so. your five up. Nope. Nope. D3. Does one. Uh, we'll do the Icarus Auto Cannon, hitting on fives because it's minus one for shooting a ground target and minus one for the nighttime. One hit, wounds on a three, oh no, sorry, a four, strike seven. Wounds, minus two, or minus one actually, so four. Nope. nope, take two damage, go to three. Shots from Stubbers, hit on fours, and wounding on fives. One wound, one three up. Goes to, oops, you're yep. good. He's gonna shoot, and they're gonna all shoot into your snipers. Yes, your snipers. Four shots from sniper rifles, hitting on fours because they're outside of 18 because nighttime. Uh, one, wounding on a four, does a wound, just regular armor save. Yep, so they do get cover because yep. uh, they are and they have the additional cover because they're rattling. So two up. Oh, uh, wait, nope, five goes to three. Be, uh, three up. Three up, yeah. Nope, good. We're good. And then heavy B, hitting on fours, wounding on three, strength five, re rolling ones because the lieutenant's there. Yeah, one wound, straight up, three up. Nope, good. You're good. Animus Speculum's gonna get, am I with an 18? Animus Speculum's gonna shoot D6 shots. Gets two. Uh, and hit on twos. One hits. Strength five. Nothing. So he's gonna go, he's gonna put his rapid fire battle cannon, his iron storm missile launcher, into the hellhound here. And he's gonna put his avenger galley cannon into the other hellhound. Um, and that's going to be a whole bunch of shots, but hang on fours again because of range. The pod gets uh, two, three shots. Hit on fours because we're at the. Uh, no last sight, nothing hits. And then the Rod 4 Battle Cannon gets two shot, three shots on fours, two hits, swing on threes, one wound at minus two into this guy. Yep. Nope. Nope. D3. Uh, two more, so you get a five. Uh, and then the Avenger Gatling Cannon gets 12 shots into the unwounded one. 12 shots on fours, because it's nighttime. Uh, and then wounding on fives, because you jump a seven. One at minus two. What you got? Furry hat protect. Yeah, good. Oh my guns. Let's do some charges. Uh, Baroness is gonna charge your primary psyker. What would you like to do? Well, I can try to try to Overwatch with my one last pistol. It's shot. gonna be great. No. Nope. No. How far do I go? I go twelve. Hi. So I'm gonna go like this. Whoop. And be with an inch of you, and then not be with an inch of these guys. But I'll be able to pile into charges. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to repeat that success, so let's just murder. Let's tap dance yet. Uh, I'm gonna hit on 12 attacks. So there's seven threes, because I don't get penalties for any time for this one. And then strength eight, so eight, 10 times at strength eight. It's just a little bit airborne. Uh, and that's gonna be, I guess you just have flak armor, don't you? Yeah. So you don't get any saves. It's right. So it's this many D3. He's in many pieces. Uh, and I'm gonna pile in, and I can't really pile in to both, so I'm just gonna pile into the closest one, which would be you, and pound to Mr. Punisher. End of the turn, I'm gonna score, uh, not that one. I'm gonna score no mercy, no uh, respite, because I destroyed an enemy unit uh, for one, and then I'm gonna score hold the, oh, I can't score that one this turn either. This turn one, he's gonna flip his three tacticals, I don't get to see them, and then it's going to be on to his movement phase. Movement phase, driving it up. Hellhound's gonna move 12 forward, about there. Because he can. Yep, other one's gonna also scoot forward to about there. Because they're terrible people. Yep. With awesome guns. And then, these guys will stay put. Okay. Uh, the only thing that's gonna move over here. Is he gonna duck into combat? Yeah, so I'm just gonna move, I don't know, like half to there. Just get, get out of an inch. Yeah. Move a little bit? Yeah, upon further review with grinding advance. Yeah, he gets to move up to half, so they can move yeah. five, I believe, yeah. and still shoot normally. I'm just gonna move an inch. For the turret guns, still and double tap the turret guns yep. too. So just an inch on both. Um, and the same thing here. He Instead can move of, five, yeah. makes room for the knight. He's gonna move up to there. Yep. Pivot to face. Yep. It's just gonna move a little bit to the side. And everybody's uh, gonna make room for the knight. Yep. The knight's <laughs> gonna come party. Go 12. Yep, it's in the middle. Be ready to do the knight dance. Moving up with the vanquishers. They can go five. Yep. Just under. Getting themselves and into vanquishing under. range. Yep. Or sorry, psych phase. Now done, because I murdered your primary. Oh, second. yeah. Uh, and now it's guns and Glock. Who's shooting first? So we're gonna start with this hellhound. Yep. Into the Kalexus. 2d6. So this is the way you kill Kalexus, is, is with Wall G's 10. 10. 10. We on threes, and I get my four plus dodge, but that's it. Yep. His wound, she's gonna get cucked. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Nine, so nine saves of four plus. I, I should die from this. Save! Uh, she takes three, and she's alive! She's just, just outside, out. so doesn't quite make it. You can cook her with the second one, or you can go after the, the uh, scoots as well. What I think I'll do is I'll uh, do heavy bolter into there, okay, and then her heavy off. flamer into there. Makes sense. So we'll start with the uh, heavy bolter. Heavy beat. So you're minus one hit for moving and shooting. Yep. This is a heavy weapon, and it doesn't actually really matter because yep. your six is to hit her all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, which actually means I don't think you can hit her because your six is to hit and your minus one to hit because your BS six yeah, is to her. So yeah. I, as soon as your minus one to hit for moving and shooting heavy weapon, I think you just yeah, miss. I can't hit her. So, so you might want to do the flamer if you want. Otherwise, you nah, should flamer something I already else. declared it, so I'll just go flamer into those. Okay, yes. cool. So 2d6. Uh, five. five this time. On threes. Gotta get some dice under your hand. Sorry, yeah. Looks like two. Yep. Uh, so my two up becomes minus one, becomes a three up. Yep. We're good. Dropping your battle cans from these two Russes into the big tank, yep. or sorry, the, the what should we call it, the Super Walker, and then the Heavy B are, are gonna go into that yep. one. So the first tank. So first one, since I uh, did a little bit of a move, I still get grinding advance, yep. and that's uh, 2d6 shots. So uh, seven. Seven shots. Uh, minus one for the, the what should we call it, the penalty from Cloak of Shadows. Yep. So you're hitting on fives. Yep. Uh, nothing. Zero, and then the heavy bees hitting on sixes against the guys far away there. That's yeah, so a heavy bee from that one. Yep. Is one hit, one hit. Three to wound. Minus oh. one. We're good. Good one shooting in here. The turret, yep. two to six shots because it didn't move more than six or five, Eight. sorry. Eight shots on fours. Sorry, fives. Because of Cloak of Shadows. Uh, one, two, three. And then force to wound, out of eight, strength eight. Nothing. Nothing. He's oh. on sixes into them. Nope. I'm gonna stop messing around. You're gonna let up the Baroness here. Yep. Flare. Whole bunch of shots going right. in. So three CPs left as he drops a flare on her, so he's gonna hit her normally. Yep. No. Actually, no. You don't need to flare her. She's with an 18. Oh, yeah. Just you don't need that. That's right. You should flare this guy. Yeah, sure. Flare him instead, I guess. Yeah. If you wanna do the vanquish. Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, so demolish your cannon in here. Uh, it's a single model, so it's D3. D3. Yep. There's three. Uh, three. On fours. Are you issuing any orders? Uh. I'll issue an order from the tank commander to do the take aim, which is rerolling ones on this Punisher. Okay. So you actually get two D3, because you didn't move more than five. Oh, yep, true. So another, the another D3. Is five shots. Yep. One, two. Yep, so two into that Titan. And then three to wounds, strike ten. Two. two. Uh, just my in-wall save of five up. 
Past both <laughs> box cars. Uh, minus one hit, so hit on fives because it moved. Nothing. Nope. This is gonna go two d three shots from the turret. Uh, so actually, turret's two d six. Oh, two d six. That's right. It's a big fancy this is one. This a big super gun. That's right. Uh, OG, so nine. Yep. Uh, are you firing these minimal or supercharged? Oh, uh, just min. Not trying to blow up oh, okay. right now. <laughs> uh, and everything, of course, is going in the night. Yep. Sounds good. Hit on four so, threes because it's commander. Actually. Yep. This should get some work done. And then wounding on strength eight? Strength seven. Strength seven, so fives. Uh, one, uh, two, three, yeah. and then minus three, so just my invul save. Uh, fail them all, stick three wounds, down 21. Uh, and then you got your spawns in plasma guns. Yes, so both those are D3. Okay. Uh, and we're looking at six, six. more shots on threes. Getting hot dice with uh, the plasma cushion. I, I did move, so it's fours. Fours, that's right, because they're heavy. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, yep. anyway, and strength seven, so fives to wound. Oh, so many dice. Mm, one. one. Five up. Down 20. Oh, the Vanquisher, not the Punisher, because the Punisher actually fell out of combat yeah. and can't fire this turn, and that would be crazy talk. So, Vanquisher instead. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, it has a uh, single shot, but it's going to be two of them, because it, it didn't, didn't move. move. Yeah. yeah, it moved a little bit. Moved more than, uh, under five. Yep. We so, roll the one. Uh, yep. Because the order? Yep. Double hits. Strength. Double hits. Uh, strength eight. So fours. Seal the deal. Uh, one. Okay. Uh, AP. It is. Do you want to spend? Eight. Do you want to spend a CP to reroll the other one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so down to three CPs. They yep. both wounds. What's the AP? Uh, the AP I believe is minus three. Yeah, so I need fives. Just my overall save for the Baroness. Fives. Get them both. Uh! Oh jeez. Just shrugging things. The iron shield. Can on yep. five. Reroll ones. Nope. nope. Second uh, tank? Regular tank. Uh, again, two shots. Uh, one hits. One hit. Four wounds. Gets it. And, and then minus three. Nope. Saved it again. Another okay. five. Ah, and Miss. Uh, oh, we can't remember nope. that. Right. It's just, just on one tank. Uh, and then you got your knight and your snipers. Yep. Gonna put everything into this knight. And a Baroness. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, so we're gonna do the 2d6 battle cannon. Right for battle cannon. Uh, Whoa. Nine, nine shots on threes. Hit on threes. Get some work done. And then wounding on force. Strength eight? Yeah, it should be force. Ugh. One, two. Uh, two. Okay, two five ups. Both failed. Two, D, three. She's down another four wounds. She's at 16. Uh, two, D, three. Uh, it's going to be three shots on threes. And then we on fives. Nicely done. One, four up save. D, three damage. Failed it. D3 damage. Got two more. She's at 10 wounds. Uh, three suburbs. If they can pull off two more wounds, I'm crippled. So threes to hit, six shots. And then sixes to wound. Just need double sixes. Whoa, gets it. Two wounds, three plus. Pass one and pass two. Jin, I will get to stand and shoot if you do this. Worth you, it. Worth it. Okay. We're going for the shots. Thermal cannon. Three shots. Row. Ro. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. Cover. Nothing. In you go. 2d6. Goes nine. Way more than enough to stand over here if you want to. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Go get him. It's hugging. Shoot your snipers, but you should. Shoot the Baroness. If you cripple her with mortal wounds, then she's not gonna be hitting you back so hard. All right, here's five complete misses. Uh, hit uh, on threes, don't they? Oh, uh, yeah, they hit on threes. There you go. They're in 18, too, so. Okay. Yep. And then we're on sixes for a mortal wound. No. Nope. Okay. Chin kicks, going in. You can try and give him the boots medium style. Yep. Hit on threes. Um, and then, we need force. Strength eight times eight. So many kecks right in the machine parts. Four, five saves. Saves at minus two, so five ups. Pass two, take three, so three D3 damage. I'm already crippled no matter what happens. Ah, that's gonna be seven damage. Uh, so it goes from 10 to 17 wounds, that's seven left. It's enough to not be super crippled. <laughs> I get to fight back now. Uh, hitting on fours. I'm actually tempted to go Reaper Chainsword, but I'm not. <laughs> Going with it. Let's see if we can do it. It's hit on fours. Oh, you're the worst knight. Two hits. One wound, minus two, five up. Just shrug it. Ah. Take D3. Mm, take one. This is not feeling well, but that's okay, because we're just going to run away from you. Score anything? Top of two. End of your turn. Uh, absolutely no scores. No scores? Okay. <laughs> two. 
Where are we gonna go, little buddies? I think we're gonna start murdering dudes. You gotta draw your cards up. Oh, I do have to draw one card. Let's see what I get. That's gonna be that. We walk ten. And we're really just gonna leave, we're just gonna twist and leave combat so we're an inch away from both these things. You know what? Make uh, three attacks. That thing should have been able to fight me when I piled into it. Make three attacks real fast to see if I have any extra wounds on me with that uh, Punisher. On sixes. Uh, yep. No. Hey? No, okay, it didn't matter. <laughs> just check, because I might, I might actually be super crippled if you don't wound there. Uh, and other movements. Let's go medium styles into other people. Feeling super good. So you're just gonna stay where you are. You're gonna move up to here. I'm just gonna stay where you are. Um, Mr. Le, this guy is gonna advance. And he's gonna go seven inches. Go stay on this rubble. Brian's gonna go. He's gonna walk out six, just so he can see some dudes, hopefully. Actually, he's gonna advance. What am I doing? Run, run, little duder, and just get to the wall. These guys are just gonna circle the objective. Stay in the line of fire. With the other big tank, we're gonna go eight. And then four more, end up right here. I'm like, yeah. Phase, I don't think I'm with an 18, but I'm gonna check if I am. If I am, I'm gonna manifest the psychic power doing a smite quite there. Uh, and that also means that I will definitely be out of range of psychic scourge, because it's only 3d6. All right, so it's shooting a clock, as I have no psychic stuff in range. Let's do some guns. Uh, I'm gonna do rapid fire battle cannon the first into this tank. I'm gonna do, actually, we can put everything in that tank, just try and kill it. So rapid fire battle cannon, two shots. Or two six shots, eight shots, hit on threes. Three plus, that many hits. And then wounding on three, strength eight. Four and minus two, so four five ups. None. Uh, okay, 43, if I get seven or more wounds, you explode. Uh, I get two, four, six, seven, so that's gonna be you dead. Uh, you automatically blow up. On a four up, I On a four up, up that's right. Yep. Nope, so he does not do mortal wounds. You can see Pete if you want. Uh, it's too close to my other stuff. Okay. <laughs> the gun's wasted because you managed to do it in one, so let's do sniper rifles. Uh, sniper rifles are going to go into this demi Uh Hitting on threes. And then wounding on sixes, but mortal wounds on sixes. Nope. Uh, and then the one heavy B on threes. There we go. Wounding on five, strength five. And rerolling ones because Mr. Lieutenant one, one three up save. Good. Good. So Thermal Cannon's gonna go. He's gonna do D3 shots into your uh, command tank. Gonna miss, or sorry, only gonna get one rather. Oh, do I wanna just take it? Yeah, let's just take it. On four, misses. Stubs hit on fours. Nope. Sixes, nothing. Going over here and we're gonna drop it into, I guess the Punisher tank? All my guns, so all the guns from the sword going into here, so it's Avenger, Pod, and the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Rapid Fire Battle Cannon gets 10 threes. And wounding on fours, strength eight. Uh, it's gonna be three at minus two, so three five ups. Get him, Punisher. Nope, three D three. Oof, that's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven. Five, and then the Avenger goes. Look at the other one. Uh, this is the Avenger Galling Cannon, hitting nine times. We're on fives only, strength six. Just one, one at minus two. Nope. Oh, two more. <laughs> Rocket Pod uh, gets three, hitting on threes, and then wounding on fives. One more at minus one. And He's got four left. Passes. Uh, the multi, or sorry, the multi gun. Hits on three, nope, misses. The heavy flamer, uh, oh, I'm not with an eight actually, so that won't matter. Uh, and then it's just the heavy stubber. There's three hits, winning on sixes. One, one save. Fails it, he goes down to three, so he's crippled, super crippled. Guess we rapid fire our, ma our uh, master crafted bolter into this guy. See if we hit him on threes. We hit him once, and then wounding on a six. It does, minus one from the master crafted bolter. Four up, he's good, otherwise it's two damage. That looks like all the guns, so let's do some charges. Uh, we're gonna charge Baroness into your Punisher. Punish me, so 20 shots from the Punisher cannon and then all the heavy bees. Going for sixes, just need to get one when I'm super crippled. One, two. On three, five, three, three on fives. Get a Punisher. And one, three up. Relevant, I'm super crippled, eight on fives now. 
Uh, and then the nine heavy boulder shots. Yep. Hit on sixes. Ooh, three and then fives. Get them super crippled. Uh oh, uh -huh. four plus. No, it failed that one too. So then five wounds, uh, four wounds left. I can't fail, so I'm just gonna go in. I'll roll to see how far I can go. I can go seven. I'll just pivot slightly. Um, the red fang is gonna charge your knight. You ever seen me? Yep. Battle cannon gets seven shots. Yep. Sixes. Uh, none. Okay. The rocket pod gets two d three. Gets six. Sorry, five. Five. On sixes. Nothing. Nothing. And then the uh, stubbers. Two, yeah, two every stubbers. Six on shots. sixes. Sixes and sixes. There you go. Three and then sixes again. One, three up. We're good. Oh. <laughs> and then how far do I go? I go eight, which is more than far enough to go land over here and be partying down. All right, and he's charged in. Finally, we'll have the uh, the sword charge your vanquisher. Shot on a six. Nope. Fails, last cannon. cannon. Nope. Nope, okay. How far do I go? A little more than eight. Uh, it's gonna be, I'm just gonna potato. Uh, I got a two, so I'm gonna re-roll the four and see what I get. I got a five. It's been a CP to re-roll the two. I get an eight, but it's still gonna fail. All right, let's do some melees. Uh, I'm going to pile in uh, with him and just bring this demolisher also into melee, so it's gonna get to fight me later on. Um, and then we'll do some fighting. Can't attack the demolisher though, so we're just gonna do all of our tap dances into your knight. I'm gonna Reaper Chance Sword you. I'm gonna Reaper Chance Sword you. I'm gonna go for it. This is never the right idea, but I'm gonna count on it being the right idea this time around. Threes. I hit with two. I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll this one. Ugh, I hit with two. Uh, it's strength 12 though, so I wound on threes. Two wounds, minus three. So sixes. Take 12 wounds, just cripples you. My next charger will be the Baroness, and she will tap dance because she's super broke. No, she won't. No, she won't. She's gonna bravely use her chainsword and hit on fives, but I only need one and it can kill you. Fives! Get one. Strength 12. Threes to wound. Threes! Do it. Yeah! Roll six and deny me. No! Do you blow up on a six? No. Nope. You don't. And then she is gonna pile. No, she's not gonna pile in. She's got to go into your big guy, and she could be killed by that. You can fight with uh, your demolisher and your big guy. Demolisher fights D three. Yeah, you know, fast so hits do, on sixes. We'll do the demolisher first. Yeah, uh, it's super easy. It gets two, two. hits on sixes because it's unlikely to do nope. anything. Nope. And then the other mm -hmm. guy gets twelve. If you want to top dance, or you can try and do what I did and Rick roll some fours on four dice. Go for it. No, oh, he misses. It's the combat phase. Um, no morales to take. Did I score anything? I've secured objective four with my primary or my lieutenant and hold the line. Score VP. If you have at least three units completely within your deployment zone, and your opponent has no models. I have one, two, three units in my deployment zone, uh, and you have no models. So I'm gonna get two more. Two. Trav's thinking about discarding some cards. Yeah, I'm gonna discard one. Um, and then draw up to three. Movement phase. So I was yeah. gonna back up. Yeah, just a little just, bit. Just we'll back up five, might as well. If you're gonna back up, you might as well get away from my knights. Because uh, <laughs> you can go five, no penalty, basically. Yeah, I'll go five. Go, going there. one is the same as going five in this case. Let's go back a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, command's gonna get some work done. Can go sit on two. He's just gonna sleep, pull back to about there. Okay. You guys are definitely within 18 now, but they can pull forward if they want. Yeah, gonna get pull some angles. Death tank. Burning death <laughs> tank. I hope that flamer can kill one, the heavy flamer can kill the other. Burn up here. Makes sense. On this? Yep. yep, for sure. Just break combat. You can just walk away. Just gonna bump into combat. Start uh, the commander? Yeah, so the commander's gonna start, but he's gonna cast an order on homeboy over here to reroll ones. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna supercharge everything and fire it all in Baroness. the Baroness. Alright, so um, 2d3 from the turret because you move less than 5. Yeah, or D, it's 2d6. 2d6, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 2d6 from the turret. This is probably gonna be it. 8. Uh, eight. Is it? Ones will be mortal wounds to you later on. But it don't matter because you just hit me eight times. And it's strength 10? Uh, no, or eight. It's, it's strength eight. eight. But two wounds, minus three. And you do six. I have to take six invuls. On five up. I only have four wounds left. I pass two, take eight wounds, and I die. On a six, I explode. I do. Who's within six of me? I think it's this guy. And probably not much else. So D3 mortal wounds on that uh, tank. Gonna take one. I'm gonna spend a CP and reroll that. Gonna have two CPs. Five, six, I can cripple him. 
Nope, two. It's got one left. Or sorry, he's at, a, at five total. Exploded. Goodbye. You were the greatest Baroness. She's going into the sword. Yep, so both these uh, can fire two shots on the main gun. Go so get them. Two from here, hitting on fours. Get in the boots. Both. Uh oh. Force to wound. Strength eight. Uh, one. Is this potato? Uh, yeah, it's potato. Reroll it. It's not flat. Nope. So one. Do you want to spend CP? Uh, yeah. Going to two. Plus. Yep. That's it. And run to wound. Oh, no, you did roll to wound. That was, yeah, that was That's right. Uh, and I need a five pinball. Fail them both. Okay, so both these are 2d6 to take the highest. Oh, no. First so one does first one, five. five. Second one does four. four. So nine wounds. So he's going to be down to 15 left. So the last cannon from the same guy hit. Yep, does on three. Yep. Wounds. Five. Nope, d6. This is gonna cripple him. Four. Four more. So he goes from nine to 13. That's just after crippling tank. Second tank, same oh, thing. Oh, jeez. Two uh, shots. Two shots in the main cannon. One hit. Yep. And we're gonna four. Nope. Those wounds. Last uh, cannon. Hits. And three plus. Actually, nine. Actually, it does not hit because I moved back. Oh, because you moved back. That's right. You did five. Yep. Probably over 18. <laughs> yep. With that one. Double battle cannon. Yep. So double battle cannon into this guy. Heavy bolter. Uh, is I think it can still get those guys. Oh, for sure. Yep. yep. So we'll do that. Two uh, D six shots. Eight, eight shots hit on fours. And then we got fours. Not too shabby. Looks like five yeah. forced wounds. If I could pick up dice, that'd be great. For the plus. One two three four five ops. Make two two D three. He's on the map. He's got 20 left. Maybe you did move, so you're on sixes. Yep. Because you're outside 18. No hits. no hits. And then the second one, 2d6 shots into the tank, or into the walker. Nine, Nine. shots. Nine on four, still with 18. That's your main gun. Oh. So one, two, three. <laughs> well, I had to go, had to go the other way eventually. Yep. <laughs> and then forced to wounds. One, two. Two. Five ups. Nope, 2d3. Uh, huh. Takes three more, so he's down to seven, or he's down seven, which means he's got 17 left. There's on sixes into the snipers. Nope. Nope. No hits. The small flamethrower going into the uh, Collects Assassin, the big one into the Skates. Yeah, okay. So D6. Six. Six. On threes. I just melt. Oh, jeez. Uh, six. Six four up saves. Unlikely at best to pass five of them. No, she melts. It's into the Scouts. Big numbers, no whammy. And. Seven. I think it was seven. Yep. Threes. Uh, one, two. Two. I'm into it. We pass them both. Guns shoot into the red fang. Try and get it to wounded. So, 2d6. Nine. And we're looking for fours now because he's all jacked up. You got it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Five hits. Five. And then wounding on fours. Two. Two. Two five ups. Fail, fail, 2d3. This could do it if you get six. And you do, he goes to 13, he's wounded. Rocket pod, 2d3. There's four. Hitting on fours, because you're wounded. And one, one. we got a five. Does, yep. minus one, four plus. Nope, d3. Oh, another three, it's just dropping rocks, goes to 16 wounds. He's stubborn. Uh, two, three, looking for sixes. Nope, they get one more wound. They get that mortal wound. He goes to super crippled. So threes. Nicely done. Looking for sixes for mortal wounds. No. Oh, gets the mortal wounds. And another save, which I promptly pass. So that's 18 wounds. I'm feeling so good. It's only got six wounds left. Last your guns. Who's charging you? He's going to charge into your, your busted knight. All right, let's overwatch then. Run for our battle cannon. Ten shots. For sixes. I like it. There's four of them. Uh, winning on fours. There's two. And minus two. Two five ups. One. D3. Take two. 14. Icarus Auto Cam hitting on sixes. Nothing. And the Heavy Stubbers. Six shots hitting on sixes. Nope. Charging in. 2 to 6 Makes seven, it. Goes seven. Up. Yep. Just going to move this out of the way. Yeah. You have to stay on top of it. Oof. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. Okay, makes sense. Are you gonna tap dance? Or are you can try and sword. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to sword again, even though it's a terrible idea. Uh, okay. You better. I have the this low wounds, six wounds. You better have tendency. Although if you get one through with the sword, I die. Yeah. All right, on fours. Gets three. Three to wounds. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, Two. double sixes! Oh, I made one failed one. Do I blow? Nope. Oh man, it's uh, end of turn now. We're going on to turn three. Things aren't looking great for the Blood Ravens and friends. Uh, let's draw some more objectives. All right, here we go. Let's do some turn. Uh, I'm going to start with movement. Uh, we're going to move forward with this little fella. It's going to go six. Go hide in this window. Limping. He's only going six now, so we're going to head over here. Go get him, Psyker. Yeah! It's just going to hunker down, so let's do some magic business. Uh, the sword is going to shoot your knight in the back because he kind of has to. Take your face. Let's do uh, smite. Goes off with a five. Uh, I don't think you have any denies. No. D3. Does one. We're going to do the scouring. It's like Scourge. Goes off on a six. We'll select this guy. Goes off. Uh, we dice off on our leadership. That's going to be closest actually for this one. I'm going to do it on your knight then. I think your knight's probably leadership nine. Dice and off. Uh, so we dice off leadership. And I get a... Okay, I got more because I got a 15 to your 10. So he takes D3 mortal wounds. And I melt his brain. Takes three. Goes to 15 wounds. Yeah, the second phase is over. I'm going to shoot you with Mastodon. <laughs> uh, Mastodon's going to shoot everything into the night except for the melted gun, which is going to go into that front tank. Fire battle cannon. Gets nine shots. Hit on fives. For fives, shoot him in the back. Banana in the tailpipe. We got three. Winning on fours. Two. Three, actually, sorry, minus two. So two, three, five ups. No, nope. oh, failed them all. So three, D three. There's three, six, seven more. Three left. Uh, we'll do the rocket pod. Gets three shots, hitting on fives, because you're super broke. One hit, fives to wounds. Nope. And that's the Avenger. Avenger gets 12 shots. Manages to hit four times. And then wound on fives. We need two of these to finish him off. There's two, and minus two. Five ups, you gotta pass one and you're done. He does, he's got one wound left. It's all down to the stubbers. It's all down to the stubbers, hitting on fives. One, give me that six. Nope. Then you can do it, little guy. The gun from the sword into that front vanquisher. It's gonna hit, uh, it's gonna be wound on a four. It's gonna wound, minus four, so no save. Not within six though, so just d6 damage. Does four down to eight. Flamer auto hits, which I forgot about, because I always forget about it, and does, I don't know what that number is, because it's on a corner. One on fives. One at minus one. Take a save, four plus. No, nope. cooks him down for one more. He's on to seven left. All right, sniper team. I need you guys to do mortal wound here. You're going to shoot this into the night, and on threes. All hits. I need one six for that sweet, sweet mortal wounds. Shoot him in the cockpit. Bam! So he's done. Uh, blows up on a six. Does he blow up? Nope. nope. Fawz Pistol's gonna shoot him. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't overheat. Uh, oh, sorry, it doesn't do anything, actually, because it doesn't hit. Uh, and then he is gonna, this is a one in a million shot, he's gonna shoot his Mastercrafted Bullet Gun into your command tank. On a three. Hits. On a six, we wound. Nope. It's almost shooting, so it's charge o'clock. We're gonna charge uh, him into your Vanquisher with my Crusader, or my, yeah, my, left my Crusader, the sword. Okay, so, regular. So, regular, regular shot, shot, yep. Hits. hits. Oh, no. Fours. Wounds! Five up! Do it! Do it! No! Takes D6! Yeah. Actually, two and take the I highest. highest. Three? Uh, Absolutely reroll one. I'm gonna reroll yep. that with the command point. Uh, the, I'll reroll, reroll the one. one. Yeah, yeah, I don't roll the That's three. That's a dumb move. There Five! Go. I think that kills him. Or does he have one left? He's sitting on fours this whole time. So he uh, he goes to 18, and now he's hitting on fives. Uh, and your last cannon. Cannon on six. No. Nope. Oh! Charge on seven. Oh! I'm gonna reroll that one with my, one of my last CPs. And we go seven, so we're good. Get your way. The librarian's gonna take one for the team. Charge in, bump a tank here. So two d six. You might as well just do them all at the same time because they're all in range. So it'll be three d six basically because they're all the same strength. Yep. And well, they all wound on the same number. They're all minus one. Yep. So it's gonna be fourteen. Fourteen auto hits on threes. Sham. Oh jeez. Uh, Eleven. Eleven four up saves. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. We fail three, four. I think it's enough to kill me. Forgot he's my warlord, so on sixes he shrugs wounds. He does, he shrugs one, he's got one wound left. Get in. Oh yeah, all day. I'm gonna go eight. 
Gonna go eight and party over here. Let's do some melees. Uh, big boy over there, he gets his murder stomps because he doesn't have the option of using a sword because he's not armed with one. So stomp on your tank on fives. Well, that wasn't terrible. There's five hits. And then wounding on fours. One, two, three, minus two. So five ups. You got on it. Three. You got it. Mm. Two to three. Uh, if I get five plus, you're dead. That's five. five. And does he blow up? D6. Negative. I think the pylon's going to take me into it, but I am going to try. So I'm going to pile in three inches towards your tank. One of the barrel, but not within one of the hulls. So not quite there. But we are at least in cover because we're in the ruins from one of the tanks. <laughs> got a librarian. Docks in on threes here with my four staff. And we're down a five. Strength six. One minus one. Ah. D3. Does three, goes to four wounds. Uh, and with your vanquisher as well, actually. So he gets uh, three still, because he's not a, yep. totally wounded. And it's on sixes. Oh, three of them. Yep. Uh -huh. Hit once, hit twice. You're gonna kill me with the tank, aren't you? And no, it's only one hit, because it's six up hit. Yeah, I know, yep. but you're gonna kill me on a three. Yep, yep. and I make a big three up save. No, I'm dead. <laughs> six up, warlord. Shrugs it off. Vanquisher sure gets three. Trying to no, punch one. Oh no, he's not in melee. That's right. Yeah, he didn't quite make it. So that's turn four, top of. Bottom of turn four. Draw some cards. Let's go ahead because I don't even remember what I was trying to do. I have to hold two, which I can't. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to tell you. Uh, nope. And yes, we did defend obstacle number one. That puts us at four. Right bottom of four. You draw your hand and discard if you want. One, yeah, put drawing one. Cool. He's gonna drive. Same piece out, go yeah, 10. Just real far to there. Oh. Yeah, so they're just gonna move. Try to slay the world for one? Yeah. <laughs> Moving five. I'm gonna try and turn around. Murder my murder my dude. Well he's gonna go he can go five, yep. so he can hook around. Hook around and stay low real quick. And tank. Just gonna go sit next to him to issue orders. Just gonna roll up a little bit. Makes sense. He's out, backing up five again. Stay next objective. Phase none, none. shooting phase. So first things first, he's gonna order give, somebody. Yeah, he's gonna give uh, this guy the reroll. Reroll ones. One. Makes um, sense. And he will then immediately shoot into your boy. Looks good. Two d six or two d three. Sorry, from the top gun. That's gonna be five. five. Four is rolling ones because he's not quite wounded. And relevant. There's four hits. We on threes. Strength ten. Uh, four or five ups. All right, buddy. Keep it together. Keep it together. Pass two, fail two. 2d6. Dead. Explode. Nope. Right, things aren't looking good. We got to hold in there for one more turn. Uh, you got your plasma cannons. You got your... Yeah. Wait, plasma, plasma going to the lieutenant. Yeah. That makes sense. Are you overcharge? Just do it normally. Uh, we're just going to do normal. Okay. Um, so 2d6 from top. That's uh, seven. Yeah, he took a win last turn, remember? I don't remember if you placed it or not. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I did. Okay, that's fine. Not, not enough to actually damage the stats. And many of the shots on... Seven. On, uh, still gonna be threes. I like it. There's a lot of hits. And then... Wounding on twos, strength eight. Uh, one, two, three, four. Minus four, minus three. I think it's strength seven. Oh, strength seven, that's right. Yeah. Still wins on three so, then. There's three of them. Three of them, okay. And minus, uh, three. And minus three, so five ups because I'm in cover. Nope, take two. It's got two left. Cannons. Two plasma cannons. That's uh, gonna be four. Yep. Hitting on threes. Hitting and on fours. Continue. Not overcharging, yep. Oh, hitting so, on fours because yeah. they're heavy, that's right. One, two, three. And then wounding on. It's gonna be seven against the threes. So threes. Uh, two. Two five ups. We're dead. <laughs> some Russes and some snipers and a vanquisher. It's gonna drop the D6 into them. Heavy okay. bolter into your little front. Okay. Uh, heavy bolter first. Sure. On, on fives. Yeah. He moves. On. Um, might be on fours because he's in eighteen. No, he's definitely not in eighteen. No, he is. No, no, it's still five because he moved. Oh yeah. I'm trying to set eight. Oh yeah. No, I'm I'm just dumb. Hold it's on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's it's not hit twice. It's all you need. Three's the wounds. One. Four up, four up, four up, six up. Nope, he's dead. Slay the warlord. Next up, the battle cannon yep. into them. Two, two six. six. This is over eighteen, so it'll be on fives. So uh, six fives. One two three, and then wounding on just two. Yep. Three. Yep. Okay. And then wounding on twos. Strength eight. 
Two, two ups become four ups. Nope, lose two. It's going to be this guy and this guy. All the guns from this Ross going into the scouts again. So 2d6, going to be eight. Looking for fives because Five. they're outside in the spooky dark. One, twos, twos, four up. I'm good. And the duck behind our camera cloak. And the heavies uh, on you move, so sixes. One. On a three. Wounds, minus one. Three up. No, this guy. Snipers in the sniper. That makes sense. Hit on fours because long range. And then wounding on th fours, but sixes are mortal. One wound, two up. And we're good. Can't really see anything. So uh, and you can see. You can see them through the windows, yeah. probably. Yeah. You can see. You can see them. Do it. Two shots from the ultimate murder cannon. Yeah, one hit, and then we're not two. Yeah, minus uh, three. Actually, I'm over eighteen, so I won't see him. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, I wouldn't hit on fours, yep. would you? you know, five, six, because you moved. Two hits, twos, five up. Nope, there's another one. Ouch. All right, uh, that's all the shooting. I mean, charges. Uh, he fell back, so can't charge this turn. No charges. And that means morale plus four. That's a nine. We're gonna reroll that from Nation of No Fear. That's an eight. He's not the Sarge. He's dead. Five. Things aren't looking good. I got two little squads of dudes left, and maybe we can get an objective that we can just be sitting on for this turn. Uh, that's not going to happen. And I get to draw one more. That is a lucky draw. We're just going to move forward slightly so we can see this tank. And be parked on here. And I'm going to shoot all our guns into it. Shots with the pistol on threes. And then wound on fives because you want to have a seven. One save, three up. Good, good. At the end of the round, secure objective one. What's the five? Five, it's all you. You can discard and draw. Hope for some good cards. Five plus him in his advance to go grab this. He's got two tries because there's two Russes here. Yep, so this one. Nope. Must miss CP. Uh, or you want to see what that one gets first and then maybe I'm going to wait to see what. Yeah, yeah. Well, he has to move still. Yeah, so. He goes 12. And just don't get in the way. Yeah, just <laughs> and then the other one. Nope, gets it. Goes 16. Gonna go park on top of it. Yep. Advance this turn. What does he want to do? Uh, run for line breaker? He's gonna run for line breaker. He moves 10 still. You need to do it within 12 of this to be in my deployment zone, so you're gonna have to advance. Because it's 12 to the corner. Yeah. Here. You can, for sure. Go park yeah. on the objective. That'll do it. So if I just... Stay outside of one? Yeah. This guy's gonna advance. Uh, he goes... He's not quite at half, so he actually makes it. He goes 12, yeah. Yep. Grinds into there. Does anyone else want to go? I don't think anyone else can really go. I'm not going to let you see anybody, so yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, so I'm just going to flame party in the Okay, you. fire party. So 3d6, because it's all in range. Just get perfect dice. There you go, 11, and then 3 to wounds. Worked on the assassin. Should work on 5 space marines. <laughs> Looking for 3s. Once these go away, oh, maybe not quite as good as the assassin. Five saves, not for everybody though. Five saves, plus one for cover, minus one for the flamer, so I need threes. I lose three, that's enough. Could go with morale. While oh, you're shooting, is everyone else advanced? Do you want to try and charge me? Uh, <laughs> or you just want morale to try and kill me? I want morale to try and kill you. Okay, so leadership eight, because my sergeant is alive. That's a nine total, but we get to reroll it because of the nation of no fear. And that's good, so we're only at five. Can keep going, three plus, Trav's gonna roll it. Let's see what happens, I need this to end. And it keeps going with a three. Score at the end of your round, so you've scored what? Yeah, so I scored uh, Secure two, six. I had two secure objective sixes. Nice, you double score that to two. Yep, and that is all. All right, we're gonna get one more turn. Discard and draw. I don't like that one, because there's no way I'm getting to it, so we'll draw two. And we're going to get this and this. Isn't it only got one I can really do. So we're just going to, I guess, shoot some guns. Going to shoot all our guns into this thing. All shots. Actually, the sergeant's going to throw a crack grenade. It's going to hit. Doesn't wound. Bolter gets to shoot twice. Hits once on a five. Doesn't wound. I'm going to bother trying to charge you because I'll just die. On, so dude. it's your turn six. Trying to new objectives. And it's top of six for Travis. Up Travis, so he can see with the guns into the scouts. Yep. And then the other tank moving into the previous tank's position, basically, so he can see these Marines. Flame them, yeah, yeah, 36, makes sense. 36 into... Because it's all that really matters. Oh, I'm dead, 17. <laughs> We're on threes, it's a Yahtzee. Uh, once twos go away, I think you got at least 10. 
How many you got? The mist? Uh, oh, a lot. Okay, so it's five. It's four mist. Four mist, 13. On threes. That's them, they're dead. Just can see that's about it. So yeah. it's gonna be your he battle moved, cannon. Yeah, you moved just under five. Yep. So. Two, six. 11. Eleven. Good stuff on the scouts. Four. It's gonna be sixes. No. Nope. Oh yeah, over 18 for minus one. And that's it. Oh, so just five. Five. Because you don't suffer from moving shooting. Yeah. So five hits on twos. It's not for everybody. Uh, four saves, minus two, so eight fives. Save two, lose two, cover. Heavy B on sixes, because of range and things, so don't have threes to, threes to hit. I'm actually going to use my last command point to reroll this. Turn. Try and kill them all? Why well, am I just for morale, too? Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> threes, two wounds, fours, minus one, sorry, yeah, four, so one dead. Guns, do I die for morale, plus three? Ah, I'm good. Six, can't get on a four plus. Did you win anything? Did you get any uh, some cool I awards? I did get more. A so prestigious award? I got Defend Objective 4. I've had it for two yeah, turns. Yeah, and you finally got it. And, yep. and then I got Area Denial. Just score one victory point if there are no enemy models within six inches of the center of the battlefield at the end of your turn. There sure isn't. Um, and if there's no enemy models within 12 inches, I score D3. So you get D3 for that one. I think that's going to win you the game. No, it only gets <laughs> one. If only you'd saved that yeah, CP. Sure. He keeps going. Yep. Oh, all right, last turn. Do I draw objective five? That's all that really matters. I get two draws. No, and no. Oh. We're just gonna go hide in a corner and try not to get totally tabled. Please, I would just draw and see if you get objectives you're currently able to get to. <laughs> Pretty much. Turn seven. What'd you get? Anything? Uh, can you move there? Actually, I just gotta check where. You should go for no prisoners. If you can get up 10 and be within 18, which I think you can, because he's gonna get to this wall. Is this wall within 18 of them? Uh, Answer is yes. Yes. So you get 2d6 yeah. shots. Woo. Six. Can you kill two guys? That's all you need. Seven, Seven shots on threes. Threes! Oh, he can do it on fours. I gotta make six saves. Just, just deny him everything. No, they melt. Last turn, I'll screw you no prisoners as well. And... It looks like you're gonna have... And score a secure objective three. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus Clay the Warlord, plus Line Breaker for eight. Um, I've got first blood plus one, two, three, four, five for six. So eight, six for the guard at the end of the game. So it was end of the game, eight to six for the Astro Militarum. Definitely the uh, the new codex made a difference because you would not have had half of the shots you had during that game. And that was yeah. what, that's what finished the nights off. The nights would have been up in your business otherwise. Once those nights touch on them, it's gone. This just exploded. This just exploded. I hot dogged a few dice too. Um, by going in swords blazing, and swords are not usually the best chance, it's usually the best yeah. to do the, uh, the tap dance, but against a fully healthy knight, I gambled, I got it down to half in one go. Which is pretty rad. Um, I was excited about the Space Marines. They did their job the whole game by hiding. The problem is that once the Knights were dead, there was very little to do to hide from all these tanks. You could grind up five inches and then just double tap them into oblivion. It was super cool. Yeah. Um, what else from the new one? I guess your range is, I was coming to you, so your plus six inches of range didn't matter a ton. Um, but your snipers being able to shoot 36 to 42 was a big deal. The plasma cannons could reach out and touch me. The demolishers could reach up and touch me 30 inches, same with the punisher cannon. Um, in a normal, like, someone else trying to stand off and shoot you game, that would have been a big deal. Yeah. For sure. Uh, what else do the Vistorians get besides that? They get the heirloom weapons. So they heirloom weapons, and then they have um, something that affects infantry specifically. Uh, you can fire uh, beyond the... You can fire your normal weapons within one inch if it's repel the enemy. Oh, nice. So, so people are charging at you, you're locked in combat, you can still fire, fire, fire weapons. Normally. That's so cool. Yeah, so they fix bayonets basically and shoot their las guns and their plasma guns and whatever when they're engaged with the enemy, which is pretty awesome. So you didn't have any infantry in this army, so you didn't take advantage of that, but not yet, not having, the, having the extra range on the tanks was huge. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Big thanks to Tribe for coming in. Big thanks to you guys for watching. So until next time, I'm Ash, I'm programming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.